26 and a half years is a fairly long time to be engaged in one venture. Well, that's Murli Karthik for you. He started playing professional cricket at the age of 12, starting with the Tamil Nadu team and then went on to play for country and county and finally hung his boots last year. Let's find out what this left arm spinner has been doing since retiring from the game. Thanks, Karthik, for joining us. Thanks, Pranjana. So, what have you been doing? I've been relaxing, chilling. Um, no, on a serious note, um, I actually had been working with the media, as you know, for quite a while as an analyst and as and when uh, I had time between the sport, between all the commitments, sports commitments. Uh, so, I was always preparing myself for something like that because I enjoy doing it. I enjoy talking about the game and taking it to the viewer in the right form or whatever form I feel should be taken. So, yeah, I was always preparing for that. And Star Sports were kind enough, uh, I think, two, two and a half years ago, even when I was playing, uh, when they asked me to start commentating for them with Champions League. And one of the things which helps is that, uh, although I'm a South Indian, being a bilingual commentator, speaking Hindi and English, it does help. So, yeah, that's what I've been doing. I also like mentoring young kids. I think uh, talking to them about the game, lifting their morale and just... Uh, because sport puts you through lots of highs and lows. People take highs differently. You feel elated and obviously you feel that nothing can go wrong. And then that's when it comes to bite you. And that's why I think uh, having seen the sport, having played the sport for a long time, the experiences, the life experiences, not only the sports experiences, um, I, I try and help because it's a different generation altogether. It's not the same old people who are a lot more uh, stronger. I feel people or young kids of today uh, do get a bit disheartened quite early. But do you miss cricket? Do you miss the field, the, you know, the stadium, the sounds, the travelling with the team, all that? Of course, I think uh, something which you've done for such a long time, you tend to miss it. But also you need to understand that uh, there's going to be a time where it's going to come to an end. Um, and one of the things I think which every sports person, if, especially from a team sport, will always say is that we miss the travelling bit, we miss the we miss the banter, we miss the camaraderie, we miss all the fun which you have. And, and when you have those uh, emotional victories as a team, those highs you tend to miss. Yes, obviously, uh, th this is a sport which you have loved, this is a sport which you have played for such a long time. You tend to miss it, but there are the other bits which you miss. And also there are guys who say that I don't miss it at all. Uh, so yeah, for me, I do miss it in parts, but more so I miss that banter and the fun factor of uh, travelling with the side. So you mentioned that you're mentoring young kids. Are you thinking of starting any kind of a venture where you'll, you know, make it more official? No, I've never thought about it because I don't know whether I'm good enough to start a venture. Uh, but yes, so as in when... Don't sell yourself short. No, it's not selling myself short. It's sometimes I don't understand that. I, I've never been inclined towards it. So it's very tough for me to uh, start a venture per se, but I like helping kids um, and anyone who comes to talk to me or anyone who asks me to speak to a certain kind of a guy, be it in terms of uh, cricket sense, be it in terms of how you need to approach a situation and or in terms of normal uh, life skills. So I, I enjoy doing it. How did you find the audience today? I mean, this is a completely new, this has nothing to do with cricket. There were techies in the audience, yet the way they were responding to you, how was it for you as an experience? Okay, it's, it's not easy uh, in the sense that when you're coming in front of an audience and trying to get a parallel or trying to bring a parallel between the sport I played, my life experiences and what it can do in a, in a techie world, in a, in a startup world, in a corporate world, uh, you are a bit circumspect when you get in there. And that's one of the reasons why I said what I said. I said, look, uh, I'm just talking about my experiences and if you guys can take something out of it, I'll be brilliant. My half the job is done. So yes, initially uh, I was just thinking. I hope they're just not too disinterested. But the fact that uh, I picked their curiosity and uh, and the fact that they didn't sleep for those ten minutes, I'm happy. Quite the contrary. In fact, you got a standing ovation. Uh, you those guys were tired. They were heading out for lunch, and that's why they all stood up. But are you completely shutting off from? The fact that you may, at a, at some point in the future, may start your own venture like Yuvraj and some others have done? Never say never. But at the moment, how do I get to it? And does my brain function like that? I'm not too sure. 
Okay. Any one anecdote which you feel has really changed your life and which you want to share with us? I think um, in 1995 or 96, I think 20 years back, I went with Bishan sir to England and over there we played a game against uh, I think Birmingham Eagles it was and Mr. Kalicharan, and Alvin Kalicharan was playing for them and I bowled to him uh, there was another left arm spinner called Rahul Sangvi as well who was our captain so I got him out after he played and he batted he hit a few sixes of the other bowlers and then once we finished uh, we had our shower and uh, post game meeting Bishan Bedi introduced me to him this is a young kid who got you out and do you have any anything for him can you give him any valuable lesson? And all he did was, in his very typical West Indian way, he just looked at his, uh, held his point of pointer and his thumb, the nails together, and he went, "Man, in cricket and in international cricket, all you need is a little bit of luck." He looked at that, I mean, in so much of heart. So that's exactly what it is, and it's left a. Uh, uh, a mark which will never be erased. Well, those are very profound words indeed. Thank you so much for speaking with Thank us. Thank you, Karthik. Cheers. Yes. Thanks. My entire uh, eight and a half, seven and a half minutes is going to be on what is it uh, that, that we need to do uh, in order to bring forth this nation, uh, which typically, if you look back, you know, 20, 25 years ago, and how we got into the IT services business was because of the talent pool in India. Moving away from this trend, Nitin Kamat started Zerodha, a discount brokerage firm which charges a constant amount for each trade. Started five years ago, Zerodha is one of the largest brokerage firms in the country. 